us to another episode on ASUG12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2021 GCE Science Paper 1. Let us look at question C3. The atomic number of americium-241 is 95. Americium-241 decays by losing an alpha particle. Question A, Loma numeral 1, explain why smoke detectors containing americium-241 are not harmful to people. So basically what you notice here in this case, uh, this element americia is uh, emitting an alpha particle. So now what you know is uh, basically an alpha particle can be stopped by uh, just a piece of paper. So because uh, an alpha particle can be easily stopped by a piece of paper, it can not penetrate, so it cannot penetrate uh, the human epidemics. Because um, it's weak, its level of penetration is so weak, thus it cannot arm um, in itself. Because it cannot penetrate. If it can be stopped by a piece of paper, then it would not enter the human skin, unless it is inhaled or ingested directly in the uh, the stomach or the blood vessel. Thus, it is a uh, safe. Thus. It is not amph to a uh, human beings. So that's how you answer this uh, question. So it's about the penetration. Remember, gamma is uh, the most penetrative uh, radiation among the three. Then, uh, Loma numeral 2, copy and complete the equation showing this decay by giving the giving values for x and y. So what we have, we have basically a uh, 241, americium, then uh, 95 as uh, the atomic number. So once it decay, it's going to emit uh, an helium, uh, basically, plus NH. Then what remains? So what will remain is uh, basically this element NP. Now uh, the atomic number reduces by uh, this atomic number of area. So we are going to have basically 95 minus 2 is 93. Then uh, the mass number also reduces by uh, this mass number of uh, helium particles has been emitted. So 241 minus 4 is basically 237. So basically, this is uh, the decay equation. So hence, uh, x is equal to 237, then y is equal to uh, basically 90, 93. So basically, this is how you answer these two questions. Let us move to the next question. So question B, figure C3.1 shows how the activity of a sample of americium-241 changes over a long period of time. Use these numbers to draw graph of activity against time for americium-241. That's C, Loma numeral 1. So basically, we are graphing activity. So activity is the y-axis. Then against time, which is the x-axis. Then use your graph to find the half-life of Amelisa 241. So what is important is ensuring that when you start plotting these values are scaled equally. So we need to scale all the values equally, scale them equally so that the graph comes out perfect, even here. 
So if you look here, the minimum is a 2. So it's better to start from 0. Then what's the maximum? This is 64. So if you increase them by the unit of 10, 10, we can go up to 70. So 10, 10 interval unit. Similarly here, the maximum is 2,000. The minimum is 0. So you can increase this, this equally in the units of 500, the way they have been uh, increased. Then that will be better. Let us move to the graph paper so that we answer this question. So what we do is we need to ensure that uh, the graph paper is properly labeled, like it's been labeled both uh, the y-axis and the x-axis. Then ensure that, like we said, this is the y-axis, then this is the x-axis, as can be seen from this. Remember, in physics, the first one is the y-axis, then the second one is the x-axis. Then, like we said, you see the interval here is 500, 500, 500, then here 10, 10. So, in that way, you see, a much more easier to plot and ensure that the graph comes out perfect so that you get the proper shape because we need to use it to find this answer. So, having done that, let us uh, go and start plotting this. So, the first one is 0, 64. So, yes is 0, then the count is uh, 64. So, we go on 0, then 64 is uh, just basically just below 5, you see, uh, somewhere here. Let me use uh, maybe a different color, a little color, so that we're able to see. Then, you come to 500, comma, 30. So, 500, comma, 30, which is uh, somewhere here. Then, uh, 1000, comma, 14. So, 1000, comma, 14. So, 14 is just uh, 4, 4 subunits above uh, 10. Remember these as 10 subunit each. So we have uh, somewhere just below 5 which is somewhere here. Then we have 1500,6. So 1500,6 just above 5 which is somewhere here. Then it will be 2000, comma, uh, 2. So 2000, comma, 2 is just somewhere there. So we have something like uh, this. Then once you do that, uh, basically we can join these lines. You join these lines, we can join them nicely with a uh, sketch. It will look like this. Two. Then it will proceed there and the uh, touches a zero, but we have not been given up to zero because you see. Remember, activity just never touch zero because it's coming off of off off of off until it reaches 0, 0.000. So the graph will look like this by the time we start from zero. Then, so this is how you get the four max. Then, number number two. Uh, basically, the question leads use your graph to find the half life of a merisam. So if you are starting from a 64. Then what is half of 64? So half of 64 is basically we divide by 2, it will be 32. So we need to go and look for uh, the period, the time at which uh, these counts are 32. The counts are 32. So if you count 32, you see along this line, let me uh, so we need to draw this along this line somewhere here. Then I uh, bring this line down somewhere here with a lola. So this line will be somewhere in the second line. So if this is, remember this is 10 and this is 250. So each subunit is basically at 250, 250 divided by 10, it will be 25. So where we are, this is basically about uh, somewhere just almost at half here one before 500 so it will just be basically 500 minus 25 we are going to have about um, 475 so 475 will be basically uh, the half life of uh, this material okay then uh, we can proceed to answer the next question so C Californium 241 is also a reductive and decays by losing an alpha particle. It has a half life of 4 minutes. Suggest so why it would be unsuitable for use in smoke detectors. That's C. C. 
So uh, basically what you notice here is uh, the, the, the half-life is 4 minutes. So what it means is uh, after 8 minutes half of it is gone. So what it means is uh, within a short period of time it will do almost a uh, B0. So because of that it will need constant replacement. Okay? Replacement. So because of this constant replacement, it makes it unsuitable to be used in a smoke detector because you end up forgetting to replace it. Then the time when it's supposed to detect the smoke, it will not detect because it, it, it would have almost decayed to a zero. So basically, due to the short life, it's unsustainable uh, in, for use as a smoke detector. And also just the level of uh, radiation that would be emitted. Just imagine every four minutes, half of what was uh, there at the beginning is uh, gone. Then by um, four f uh, eight minutes, what you are saying is uh, half of the half which remained is gone. So you are talking about uh, almost uh, uh, two thirds is gone. So uh, because of this, is uh, sustainable. So this is how you answer this question to get the 10 marks.